<laughs> All right, Captain John, we gotta go hunt this one down. Oh, here he comes, fellas. Everybody at home, we got us a bee. Look at that! Whoa! Oh! Yeah! Oh, 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 oh. Welcome to the Chew on This Saltwater Fishing Show. Fishing television with intensity. Today. See, I'm more of a fan of standing up. I don't know why, but it's just my style. I don't like sitting down. I get more leverage this way. It's kind of like playing electric guitar. Yeah. Crank it, yeah! And all the fish we've caught today have been huge. Captain John Black's caught two big ones. And now it's my turn. And when we say big, we mean humongous. The smallest fish we got is about 250 pounds, the largest 500. And I bet this one's up there too. I don't know if you guys can really tell, but it's an outgoing tide and the fish is pulling us inshore, which we like. Inshore is positive. Very important when you're fishing like this, you keep this arm straight. If you curl it up, it's gonna get tired and your arm will cramp up. So you wanna keep this arm straight and use your hips to lift up. Your body weight's what gets the pressure on the fish. If you try to use your arm to curl it, it's gonna give out really fast and you won't have enough strength or power to fight that fish over a long period of time. Some people, their, their arms even cramp up. <laughs> now, whenever you're fighting a big fish like this, you know, huge ones, two, three hundred plus pounds, you can't crank them in. No matter how hard you crank, all it's gonna do is turn. See how it makes it turn? So what you have to do is you have to follow your hips with it and then put your hips back in, lift it up, reel back down. You use your body weight to get all the pressure on it, and then you go towards the fish, and that's how you get your crank back on. If you sit there and try to crank it, all it's gonna do is turn in your hands, it's gonna get really tired, and you're gonna go, oh, I don't know if I can do this. But if you do it with your hips, you put your hips in, lean back into it, and then reel down, lean back in, you're not gonna gain a whole bunch of line, but you're gonna gain more line than you would if you were sitting there trying to crank, see? doesn't go anywhere. People do that all the time. They're like, I can't, I'm cranking as hard as I can. It's not how hard you turn it, it's how you drop into the fish and then put your hips in. Oh my goodness. <laughs> all right, Captain John, we gotta go hunt this one down. I think it's a glide. Isn't it crazy how much pressure you can put on these guys? Look, all I got. Woo! Yeah! Completely different catching big fish out in the open than it is next to structure. When you're out in the open, you know, we're only using 150 pound test here. And yeah, I said open, or 150. A lot lighter than normal for me because I don't have to worry about them really getting into much. There's a few ledges, a few cliffs, a few rocks. But I kind of know where those are. So I get to kind of watch them and not have to really kill them like I normally would as far as pressure. And tire them out fast, fast, fast. Out here, I don't have to tire them out quite as fast. This is one big old heavy fish, by the way. <laughs> and this is the first big fish I got to catch on my brand new sea deck. Uh, I think you guys can see it, it's pretty awesome makes the boat look really good and it feels comfortable on my feet so I can walk around barefoot and don't have to worry about you know getting into stuff my feet getting all tired it's okay I don't have to wear shoes when I've got this spongy stuff underneath me. Oh, 
be found in one of those little rock piles I was telling you guys about. Oh, here he comes, fellas. Everybody at home, we got us a bee. Look at that. Whoa! -hoo -hoo. Oh! Yeah! Oh! <laughs> One of those big captiva. Oh my god. God, we catch a beast today, baby! Awesome! And you too can do this on a chew on this charter. You can come out with Captain John Black or myself, Captain Ben Chancy, and we can have some fun. And we catch some monsters. And here, got me shaking a little bit. Had me in that stuff. Look at that monster. Woo. All right, we got this big piece up to the side of the boat. I'm trying to uh, get to the leader. You gotta always put the rod in the rod holder when you get a big fish in. If you don't, when they go to take off, you see you like look at it. See, it's a big one, right? When they go to take off, they can really bust you up when you don't want that to happen. This is awesome. This is my personal biggest one out of this area. And I love it. Oh, there we go. Woo! You got some love right there. You guys see that? That's alright. Watch, I'm gonna pull it up right by hand. <laughs> Good stuff. Come on now. I deserve that. I'm okay with that. Come on now. <laughs> Give me your sweetness. Come on. Right here. Look at this, you guys. No, no, no. Don't, oh, don't shake on me. <laughs> come back. Come on, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Just want to get that hook out of you. Hmm. And we even forgot to say chew on this again, and it still did it for us anyhow. We love it. We love when they cooperate, even if we don't do everything perfect. I like some luck and some good times. Alrighty. You know someone don't do that to me again? Close, I'm turning this out. Oh, what a beauty. Come on back, come on back. Oh, you were slamming. <laughs> Alright, you guys. These are big old circle hooks we use. And you see it's got him right in the corner of the mouth. We fish them. We don't allow them to take the line or anything like that. So they don't get gut hooked. And we'll catch them in shallow water so we don't, you notice their bellies don't blow out of their mouths or anything like that. So we can release these guys and come back and catch them again. Catch them over and over makes for a wonderful fishery where we don't hurt them and nothing bad happens to them. Now the hard part is right now is getting this hook out. You see how deep it is? It's a big old fat hook. And it's not because it's so tough on them. It's because it does such a good job at getting in a crease where it's not a lot of bone, not anything. And it just gets in there. And it doesn't do anything bad to them. But it's hard for us to get them out as fishermen. And hard for them to get them out once we get them on the hook. So I'll take both. I'll take one so I can have the other. This part right here, very dangerous. Because I showed you those little teeth they got inside their mouth. If they decide to start shaking, they can really bust me up. Things are wow to handle. They're pretty slimy, which is a fish, so you expect that. Look at that. Wow! What a gorgeous fish! Yeah! Woohoo! Don't go, don't go, don't go. Get back here. Get back here. And don't ever stick your feet in there or your, your hands in their mouth. Your feet either. Because if you put your feet or your hands in your mouth, they have a whole bunch of little teeth. Check this out. Look. Look inside their mouths, you guys. Look at those. See, those are all little bitty teeth right there, and they will grab you and scratch you and bust you up big time. 
All right, we're gonna let this beast go. And always remember, when you see that big fish, unlike us today, you yell, chew on this. And hopefully you hook up with a giant like this. See you guys next week, Godspeed. All right, you beautiful girl, let me get that hook out. Oh yeah, yeah, beautiful circle hook, huge one. All right, we're gonna turn her right side up. Check her out there. Look at that beauty. Girl, look at her. They like to slap me in the face right now. Look at that beautiful fish. Woo, thank you, thank you, thank you. And that's what a 350, 400 pound fish looks like swimming away. Yeah. <laughs>